Insurance companies are now using drones to get rid of people that they don't want to insure anymore. What the hell is even that? They are using drones, guys. They are spying on their own customers. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. They are spying on their own customers to deny them coverage, guys. This insurance thing is getting out of control, guys. I have told you guys it's going to get worse before it gets better, and we are here. <laughs> the age of men is over. My name is Orlando. Welcome to the channel, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. Make sure you check in the pinned comment and in the description. I have a newsletter. Yes, a newsletter that will give you tremendous value. You will love it. Also, if you sign up today, you will get a step-by-step -step guide on how to claim your NAR settlement payment, guys. You cannot be free. How can you be free? <laughs> Uh, insurance companies are spying on your home from the sky. Insurance companies are using drones to spy on your house. They're hovering over your house and they're trying to find out if you have undeclared trampolines in your yard. <laughs> really? <laughs> Undeclared trampolines. And I know you guys are like, Orlando, come on, come on, quit with the jokes, okay? No, this is no joke. Companies are using drones to check out roofs or spot yard debris and undeclared trampolines. And they're gonna cut you for undeclared trampoline that you have for your kids. Like you're calling, hey, hey, State Farm, um, yeah, um, I just bought a trampoline for my kids and I'm putting it in my backyard and I need to put this on my on my insurance. No one's doing that. <laughs> I can promise you that, and they're using that to cut you. Guys, listen, once again, these companies aren't loyal. Cindy Picos, right, we have Cindy here, nice lady, right, right, nice lady. She gets cut, she was dropped by her insurance her last month. The reason, aerial photos of her roof where her insurer refused to let her see. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if your insurance company drops you and you go, hey, um, why did you drop me? And they'd be like, oh, we were spying on you. <laughs> we, we had drones all in the sky looking at your house. Um, well, can I see those? Well, <laughs> well, th the way our policy works is we can't let you see anything. <laughs> really? What? So you're dropping me and you won't let me see what you are dropping me for? How does that make sense? <laughs> It doesn't make sense. This is the reason why I keep telling you guys this. And I'm going to keep saying it. And I know over and over and over again, some of you guys are going to say, Orlando, listen, I've been with this company for 25 years. There's no way this company, this insurance company, they love me. They love me. Every time I call them, they know me by name. <laughs> That's what people are telling me now. And I'm saying, no, 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 no. You have to understand, these insurance companies only look at you as a number. They don't care about anything else but you as a number and making sure that you never, ever, 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 ever put in a claim. I thought they had the wrong house, said Picos, who lives in Northern California. Our roof is in fine shape. Her insurance said that images showed that her roof had lived its life expectancy. Picos paid for an independent inspection that found that the roof had another 10 years of life. Her insurance are declined to reconsider its decision. Well, duh. <laughs> Unfortunately, these insurance companies, once they make their decision, let me give you some insight. They didn't cut you because of the drone footage. They wanted to get rid of you for whatever other reason, and it had nothing. Let me tell you this, nothing. <laughs> Nothing to do with your roof. They didn't want to do business from you from the very beginning. They got their premium and they thought for some reason you were a high risk. And they said, you know what? We've already got our premiums from her. We, we don't need it because this is the perfect customer for an insurance company. No claims, no claims, no claims. Pay me premium, increase premium, you pay premium. It's me, knock knock. So uh, you, got, uh, you got my money? <laughs> that is the perfect customer. Remember, no claims. That is the point, zero claims. The insurance are saying that the customers agree to home inspections when they buy a policy and that photographing properties from the sky is less intrusive than the home visits used in the past. They say deploying fleets. <laughs> That's what they said, fleets 
of surveillance planes lets them respond more quickly to disasters and charge rates that better reflect a property's risk. Oh, insurance company. Let me go ahead and read in between the lines for you guys. What they're basically saying is, hey, um, we don't feel like coming to your house anymore or waiting to set up an appointment. We want to be able to cut you at any point that we want to. These drones allow us to go through loopholes in our contracts to say we can get rid of you. And we don't have to tell you the reason why. <laughs> That's the reason why these insurance companies love this. This is getting ridiculous. At this point, do you even need to call the insurance company if you need anything? Just go outside and wave in the sky. Hey, hey, just, just wave. Come on in. I need some assistance. That's all you got to do. Look up. They're looking at you right there. Surveillance. This is, this is, this is nuts, guys. This is nuts. But I told you guys this. These companies will do anything that they possibly can for their bottom dollar. And again, this is the reason why I say you have to make sure that you choose the best company for you and your family. You can't be blindly loyal to these companies and expecting them to work miracles, work great in your behalf. They only look at you as a number, guys only as a number. Now, I'm not an insurance inspector. I'm not a roofer. Maybe someone in the comic section could tell me if this looks like a horrible roof, a roof that that is basically gonna fall off and it's on its last leg. But these are the pictures from the independent contractor that did the inspection on her roof. And yeah, I mean, it looks like a roof. <laughs> it doesn't look like it has holes in it or anything like that. And again, again, I could be wrong. I'm not an inspector, but I will take the independent roofer's word over the insurance company that won't allow you to even see the images that they're talking about. You see what I'm saying? They're providing proof here, but in this story, the insurer didn't want to even provide any type of context why they got rid of Cindy, the homeowner, as a client. But let's hear it from the perspective of someone who used to work for this insurance company and see what they have to say. Nicole Brink quit her job as an agent for Farmers Insurance last year, concerned that the insurance giant appeared to be using aerial images as a battering ram to clear out unwanted customers. What? Are, are you kidding me? Are you telling me that these insurance companies are using loopholes to get rid of unwanted customers for whatever they categorize as a unwanted customer. Hmm, who would have thought of that? Unbelievable. It's like they're using anything as an excuse to get people off their books, said Brink, who still works in the insurance industry. Farmers appear to be scrutinizing every property on its books, she said, adding that she saw non-renewal notices sent for everything from trampolines to moss on the side of the vacation home. <laughs> moss? Boss, this is the reason why they're not sending you the aerial notices. This is the reason why they're, when you request them, hey, can you actually tell me the reason? Because how foolish, how ridiculous would it sound? Um, yeah, you have moss growing on the side of your house. Moss? <laughs> you do know my house is outside, right? Right, it's outside. That's just an interesting fact. And this is my point. When you have drones hovering over your house, taking pictures of everything, spying on you, no one telling you that, that a drone is flying over your house at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Oh yeah, we found something, but we can't tell you what it is. Sorry, you're gone. And then to find out that the reason why they dropped you is because of moss? You had a trampoline in your backyard for your kids? and they're dropping you because of that? Now, I know a lot of people in my comic section, right? Maybe some of you guys are insurance guys, right? Please explain to me how this makes sense. And this is the reason why I say, when it comes to purchasing a home in this current environment, when things are continuing to go up, do you want to get caught in this scenario where you're getting dropped? Do you want to be in this scenario where you're in Florida or California where insurance is going crazy? Property taxes in Florida, in every other state, Texas, Illinois, New Jersey, California, everything is going up. Everything is going up. And like I said in a previous video, sometimes two to three times more than what you originally paid four to five years ago. That's abnormal, guys. 
That's abnormal. And this is the reason why it's so important that if you do decide to purchase a home, that you do what's best for you and your family when it comes to cost wise. If you have a current insurance right now and they're charging you $3,000 and another insurance company is giving you the same coverage, same rating, everything like that, and they're charging you $1,500, why wouldn't you go with the $1,500 company? If they have all the characteristics of what you and your family want, is it because you're loyal to the spying insurance company, the company that while your kids are jumping on a trampoline has a drone looking at your house above? I mean, if you trust them that much, invite them to the party. <laughs> invite them to your birthday party that you're having in the backyard. They already know what's happening. They already know. <laughs> I'm just saying guys, I'm not going to be loyal to an insurance company that I know, that I know is sending drones to look at my house, that it will drop me at the drop of a dime. These companies aren't loyal. Brink, who worked for farmers in Michigan, said some customers were dropped based on aerial images that were two to three years old. So some of these companies, some of these companies cannot afford a drone, right? We know that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> they're insurance company, they can afford it. But they're going a cheaper route. Instead of having a fleet of drones that can drop in and look at your house, they're going on Google Earth or Google satellite images and they're going, oh yeah, look at this roof. The images are two to three years old and they're still dropping you. Do they really even care? Do they even really care about the images to begin with? Or do they just wanna drop you for any reason? Maybe they wanna get out of the state like in California with State Farm. Or maybe they wanna get out like some of these other companies in Florida. They just wanna leave the entire state. And they want to shed as many people as they possibly can and collect the premium that they think is deserved. The final straw came when Brink saw her own home flagged in a farmer's image because of a tree branch overhanging her barn. She switched insurers and jobs. So this, this insurance agent was like, I mean, I see it every day. <laughs> <laughs> but the last straw was like, oh no, they flag in my house and I work for them as an employee and I also have them as my insurance as on my home and they're going to flag me? They're flagging me, an employee of State Farm? She said, that was enough. That was enough. So not only, <laughs> look guys, I can't make this up. Not only does State Farm not care about their customers, they don't even care about employees that are also their customers. Mind blow, right? This is what I'm talking about. If they don't even trust their own employees as customers, what makes you think they're gonna trust you? I know, I know, I know. I'm talking too much sense. Orlando's crazy. <laughs> I get it, I get it. Part of the industry strategy is to avoid any situation where customers get to say yes or no to this kind of spyware approach to underwriting and rating. So the point is, is that the industry does not want to have the ability for you to opt in and out of being spied on. Because most people would say, uh, no, you're not spying on me. I don't want you hovering around my house. That's what most people would say, right? And they're saying they don't want that option to be available for you because they love having that in their back pocket that if they need to get rid of you for any reason, all they gotta say is, we took a drone over your house, we saw something that we didn't like, I can't show you, but you're out of here. Make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense, guys. As always, guys, make sure, make sure that you're doing what's best for you and your family. Do not overpay and remember, these companies aren't loyal. I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, you won't get all of your information from this one video. I need you to watch this video right here. It will give you information on the housing market, financial news, get into your first rental property. And I promise guys, the information you will get from there, you will love it. See you in the next one. Thanks.